Welcome and thank you for coming to witness the union between Jennifer and Zachary. These are two of the most wholesome people I know. They are the type of people who will help without asking, bend over backwards to make a difference in the lives of others. Something is rare in today's world. Jen, in the last few years of knowing you, I've seen how genuinely unique you are, your quirks and your infectious spirit for life. You love fully and passionately for all of your interests, your friends and your family, and of course, Zach. Zach, we've been through a lot. No matter what we've done, you bring humor and fun into it all. You've gone from a coworker to a friend to a vital member of my chosen family. I love you both, and I'm extremely humbled to be officiating your wedding today. Marriage is without a doubt one of the most daunting things you will do in your lives, and it should not be entered into lightly. It's about putting yourself out there and being vulnerable to one person every day and having the trust and belief that they will accept you no matter what. It's about sacrifice and struggle, joy and hope. While marriage can be defined as many things, just remember that while life is unpredictable and not everything will be in your control, as long as you're with the right person, you can handle anything. Before we move on to the vows, I'd like to impart some simple wisdom onto you both. First, try to improve yourself a little bit each day. If you wake up each morning with the goal to end the day, a better, more complete person and spouse, you will continue to grow together and be stronger every day. Second, remember you are both your own person. While you will make sacrifices to do what you need to do as a spouse, remember to also take time for yourself to follow your unshared interests as well. Doing this will help you both stay mentally refreshed and keep your relationship more balanced and equal. The last one comes from the longest relationship I know. It's my grandparents who have been married for 65 years. And when asked, what is the secret? They only have one answer, and it's to laugh together every day. Part of the joy of growing old is that you never have to fully grow up. The silly things you do together may not make sense to anyone besides the two of you, but that will ultimately be the memories that you cherish later in life. Find ways to laugh together every day. Now, the bride and groom will exchange vows they have written. Zach will go first. Jennifer, today, is the greatest day of my life. You are the love of my life, and being able to share this moment with you like this, sharing our emotions and feelings, it just feels so good. It's kind of crazy to think back to when we first started talking, how much our dreams and goals aligned so perfectly. Where we wanted to settle down, the type of family we want to have, the way we thought and feel about the different aspects of life, politics, religion, all that. We just fit so perfectly in a less than perfect world. In your smile, I see all your happiness and joy. In your words, I hear all of your intelligence and humor. In your eyes, I see all of your love. And in your arms, I feel all of your warmth and support. I pledge my love to you and everything that I own. I promise to honor you above all others. And our love is never ending, and we will remain forevermore equal in marriage. Zachary, today is not the start of our journey, but one of many memories we will share along the way. Love is not predefined or comes with instructions, nor does it look the same for everyone. It can be gradual or sudden. Sometimes you're looking for it, but more often than not, it surprises you. I may not know when I fell for you, but I do know love continues to grow. It's grown with all the support you've given me these past three years between changing jobs, starting a business, and supporting my friends and families in various ways. It's grown with every date we've been on and every future we've planned. It's grown through fights, miscommunication, and the struggles we've endured. And I know it's grown in the past year that's led up to this moment today. I stand across from a man whose love for me is steadfast, a man who always tries his best and takes action to achieve his goals. A man who is always there for me and wipes tears from my eyes. A man who sees the best in every situation, even when I can't. I vow to continue supporting you as you find your passions. I vow to grow with you as we continue our journey together, to make the most of the small moments we share together. I know any trials we may face in the future, we will make it through together. I can't wait to see where our journey ahead leads us to our eventual move escaping the heat, getting a house together, our 50 billion dogs and no cats, and everything that has yet to be decided. There is no one I'd rather have next to me for the rest of my life. 
through this life, the next, I vow to always find you and love you. I love you today. I'll love you more tomorrow. And I'll love you through eternity. Jen, do you take Zach to be your wedded husband, to live together in marriage? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and health, and be faithful only to him for as long as you both shall live? I do. Zach, do you take Jen to be your wedded wife, to live together in marriage? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and health, and be faithful only to her for as long as you both shall live? I do. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you. They are holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will passionately love you through the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it, support and encouragement to pursue your dreams and comfort you in difficult times. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled in age, will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. And now, by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride.